I think uh, worship with deep soul is mm -mm, good. All right, mm -mm, good. What that means, go to the next slide, is that it's meaningful and it's memorable. Meaningful and memorable. Meaningful in that somehow the message and the way the message was carried out connected with our life story in such a way that meaning was created. And memorable in that it lived beyond the time and place of that worship in some way. So, I want you to turn to someone next to you, and not whole groups, because I won't give you enough time, but just a partner. Uh, and if there's like an odd, well, I know there's odd people in the room, but if there's an odd number of people, <laughs> count myself among them, um, then a threesome is fine. But talk to, careful. Um, <laughs> Uh, talk to someone else about a moment, a worship moment that was mm -mm good for you. It was meaningful and it was memorable. You can remember it maybe from 20 years ago, it may be from last week or anywhere in between. But it's, and it's not going to be a whole service, it's going to be just a snapshot, just a moment of a service that was mm -mm good, something that really just has stuck with you and, and really touched you in some way. Okay, so just a couple minutes each, ready, go. So, we are all experts at worship, simply by virtue of the fact that most of us have done it a lot. But we don't often, not all of us, and not all of the people who go to our worship services, uh, are able to articulate why it is that something touches them. So this is meant to be a little analytical exercise, but we start with our stories, right? We start with our stories, like you just did. One of the characteristics I would name as a characteristic of mm -mm, good worship would be enacting what we proclaim. So I want you to go back to your partner. I want you to reflect on what you heard them say in their description and come up with characteristics. If you're going to say, what were some of the characteristics of, of that story you just told about that mm -mm, good worship that we could write down as something we need to pay attention to, right? That adds to or contributes to what mm -mm, good worship is. You see where I'm going with that? A little bit of analysis. So just go back to your partner and for just a couple of minutes talk about what, what can you glean from their description that is a clue about a yearning that you have that creates meaningful and memorable moments. Okay, ready, go. Okay, so... Here's the deal, folks. When you're wanting to get, uh, you know, evalu evaluation is an important thing. But sometimes we think evaluation, oh my gosh. The root word of, the root of evaluation is the word value. So evaluation is simply finding out what we value and getting more of it. That's what we just did, an evaluation exercise. We found out what we value so that we might get more of it. So we might become conscious of what it is that we value and get more of it. Um, this is what I recommend that you do when you start to ask people about worship in your communities. Don't start with, what do you like and what don't you like about worship? Ah! This is not a good way to start, right? Because it keeps us in, in a sort of, it puts us right away in a defensive kind of mode, right? It's not very productive. Start with telling your stories of moments that have really touched you. And then begin to analyze and glean from that clues about what it is that we value, what it is, how it is that we are touched, what is it that makes uh, our rituals meaningful and memorable. Uh, so just a, a little exercise, and you know, start to, start to ask people in your church, what's a moment you remember? What's a worship moment you remember that really lives beyond the time and space? It just like comes, pops up back in your mind and it was really meaningful to you.